Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add data forms to your websites, your pages, or your blogs. You can pretty much put them in any section within our CMS. If you haven't created a data form yet and or have not watched the video on how to create a data form, you should watch that. But to access data forms, you're going to come over here to templates. You're going to click on data. You're going to click on data forms. And this is where you can create your data form. This is just an internal name. Name it. Select the work workspace if you want. Um, one thing to note if you haven't watched the video on workspaces, it's a way to organize all your assets as well as provide access to other users to share assets you create. More importantly, for data forms, any lead that comes into that data form will also come into that workspace if you assign a workspace. Once you create your form, inside you have all your different options. This is where you're going to create your different field types and configure your legion form to use on your site so do watch that video and learn how to do that once you have a data form set up inside your theme depending on the theme you may have several different page kit options that already have a, a sample form for you to swap out with one of your live data forms uh, you know may, maybe the actual page that you're on has one Anytime you have something like that, so for instance, in the bootstrap, you have an option here for the hero to have a, a data form here. This is just a sample form. This is not a form that's pulling from your list of data forms. To access the list of data forms, you're going to hover right around the form. There's a little div right there. You just click on it, and you're going to see your data form options over here. All you have to do is select whatever data form that you want to use and that'll replace the sample data form with your live data form simply hit save and now your site is live with this data form what's really cool is you don't have to edit here at all um, any changes you make to the data form will automatically be updated so for instance in this example here i may want to um, let's just add a message box um, so here on the near me demo i'm going to hit add field i'm going to say message i'm going to choose a text area and i'm going to hit create i can also rearrange these let's say i want to grab the phone here to be above my email so in my data form inside my builder it's going to automatically do all that for me reorder so no need to ever edit this as a matter of fact if you do edit it it'll override with whatever you have in your data form just note anytime you want to switch it out or or change anything, change it in the data form section. If you want to swap it out, just remember there's a little border around your form that you can choose a data form uh, to switch in between at any moment. And I'm actually using that form for another demo. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these real quick, get those out of there, and I'm going to bring my phone back over here. So again, it'll change automatically for you. You don't have to worry about editing or changing or doing anything inside the builder. Just select your data form and choose it. Now let's say you want to add a data form in any section within your site that you know, you've know you built either your own custom block or you're using a block here and you actually want a form in here or maybe you want to add a newsletter form in the footer and it's not provided in one of the page kits. We have a, a components widget that you can do. So for instance, let's say I want to put a form inside this section. I highlight the section I want. I'm going to go ahead and hit the plus sign here or hit the plus mm -hmm. sign here. And instead of saying on the page kit tab, click on the components tab. Over here, you're going to see various different options uh, that you have to uh, select. And one of the widgets that you have is data form. So all you have to do is click that and that'll bring in your data form. Now I had after. So if I want to go back, one thing to note there is you have these different options before, after, replace, inside. I actually want that data form to go inside. And so I'm going to select inside, click on data form, and there's my data form. So now I can select it and come over here and grab whatever data form I want to use in that spot. Simply hit save. And now you have your data form. You can put the same data form in multiple places. You can put them in a dialogue. You, you can use the same form throughout the same page. You can have as many forms as you like in addition to the same form. And you can add these again on any page, on any blog post, on your main homepage of your blog. Uh, you can use them wherever you want and it's really easy to add.